Hey, what's going on, everybody? I came across an article um, that's very disturbing, to say the least. And if you do anything, I urge you to stop watching me talk right now and go to the link in the information box to read the article for yourself. It appears that uh, Dick Cheney, our famous vice president, really is a political whore. He is butting heads with General Murray and uh, wants action taken in Iran. Now this article is not supposed to be published until July 7th interesting date. Uh, it's not even out on paperback yet, but for some reason I came across it on the internet. I urge you to read the article in length, and I urge you to draw your own conclusions. But I tell you what, uh, it's pretty interesting how the last couple days on the news channels you've seen nothing but good news from the Iraq war. We're winning the war. We're doing what needs to be done to win the war. The war's almost over. And I'm afraid that whether you or I like it or not, we're going to end up in war with Iran. Iran currently sits on 20% of this world's oil reserves. 20% between Iran and Iraq, they combine for roughly 50% of the world's oil. We go to battle, the Strait of Hormuz is going to be shut down. You might wake up the next morning and gasoline is $12 a gallon. A head of lettuce might be three dollars. The effects of this action will be catastrophic. It appears that our politicians say one thing and do another. No big surprise there. They're all flip floppers, they're all political whores. They will spread their legs so far as they can go to achieve whatever goal they want to achieve, regardless of what you and I think. So if you wake up Monday morning, or the day after, or maybe the day after that, don't be surprised if uh, this country is in some rough shape. And remember, the people of Iran are Persian, they're not Arab. Take a look into history and every Persian army that you can come across, especially the Darius dynasty, and tell me if that's something that you look forward to. Iran's a peaceful country. They haven't really done anything to us. They're supporting Iraqis right now, just like we supported Iraq back in the 80s in the Iraq-Iran war. Where do you think Saddam Hussein got all his uh, chemical weapons from? In this article, when you read it, you've got every head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Joint Chiefs of Staff every general, every leader in this American country saying we cannot sustain a war with Iran and then you have the Vice President and our own political establishment saying fuck you we want to go to war we don't give a shit what you say there's some major backstabbing going on ladies and gentlemen so whatever you do today 
or tomorrow, or whenever you look at this, you click on this link, you read it for yourself, and you tell me if I'm lying. I wish you all the very best. Stronger than reason, stronger than lies, the only truth I know is the look in your eye. Just like a car crash, just like a knife, my favorite weapon is the, the look in your eye. I'm chewing on glass and I'm eating my fingers. I'm not the one who's run out of lies. I'm shaving my beard and I'm eating beef jerky. I lost my soul to the, the look in your eyes. George W. Bush has pasty white thighs. Mama, oh mama, don't let me get a stigmata. Mama, oh mama, don't want one of them stigmatas. Stigmata, stigmata. Ooh. It's a wonderful world.